Hi, in this video, I will quickly show you how I prepare my scene before I start to animate. For example, uh, as you can see here, this floor setting and turning on shadow and setting up the uh, meshes so you can hide all unnecessary meshes. This is very important before you start. And then some short keys to change the camera. I would. I don't have much fancy settings. This is all I need before I start to my scene. So I will just explain quickly. This will be really short video. So first thing is if you load your character, it will look like this in my scene. You can just start to animate uh, straight away, but it's better we have some floor meshes so you can see clearly how they how the character contact with the floor so let's create one meshes let's go to polygon select plane make it a bit bigger and to see the shadow we can turn on lighting setting so light make sure you turn on these two options and then now let's create one light it's not fancy lighting setting it's just one light to see the shadow create light directional light and if you change the uh, direction of the light you can see this if you think it's too bright you can just change its intensity from here up to you so we have light and we have shadow shadow is not just to make a bit cooler it's uh, actually shadow helps uh, when you see your when you check your animation when you check uh, when you Mesh contact floor. If you have shadow, it makes makes easy. For example, here. If you don't have shadow, it's sometimes it's hard to see uh, it's contacting the floor or not. So if it's like this, yeah, you may not just, uh, sure. You have to try. But if you have shadow, it makes more obvious. So shadow helps. And then and also when I animate I don't want to see all the meshes it is cool to show meshes but if you have all these caves when you create the pose uh, it makes really hard to see the silhouette character silhouette so I make as simple as mod as I can to so create some display layers for example hair uh, remove the hair and close and removing all those big uh, extra meshes is already uh, makes really clear this uh, this character so actually when I animate I animate this after finishing this body animation, this secondary motion, don't really need worry about this secondary motion. So when I actually animate, I hide all this extra part and remove tape. So this is what I see when I animate. So just body, just body. So you can make sure you have really nice body silhouette so this is basic setting and hotkey I don't use much hotkey but I like to have a camera hotkey so you, I can change the I can see I can change the camera quite easily so I can see different angle how it look like especially if you work on game industry your character need to look uh, very nice in every angle so ch changing uh, the checking 
you have to feel that in different angles is very important. I have short key like um, uh, this, so I just swap the camera really quickly and go back to perspective view. How I do this, my setting is really simple. I just go here, setting hotkey, see here item, you can search camera, no camera, I'll just check with the front, let's say front. So uh, this is a front view setting uh, hotkey. So I just use front one and then left hand, right left and left three and right must be two right right two so when i click one uh, uh number of keys on my keyboard one two three four it will just keep swap uh, this perspective view i couldn't find perspective um camera uh, as a default in here i tried to choose uh some others but it didn't work so I just created one custom hotkey so I just copied this one I uh, will quickly show you I uh, will just remove this so custom scripts you can just create this one mm. uh, you can create from here this is uh, you can copy and paste it I, it's the same script with the front and left view. I just changed this part uh, of the view. I changed this as a perspective, P-E-R-S-P. -E so if you create this one, you can click this new button and then paste this and then name perspective or whichever you like. And then you can save this comment. Then you will see that the script here under custom script and then you can give any hotkey what you like I uh, use this one as a keyboard you can put five or you can six any keys what you prefer so when you click the number key like one two three four and then you can just uh, quickly swap your character and then also there's one thing I one other hotkey is um, uh, hide and unhide it to toggle the nerves curve. Uh, it is same hotkey. I used to I think I used a different uh, setup before, but I just use this. This one is a hotkey descriptive, so I create this one same like before. Uh, this is a hotkey script um, I found on the uh, internet. Maybe if you know a um, simple way to toggle this nerves curve, you can do uh, your own way. But uh, this is how I did. So create new and paste this script. I will post uh, this on my video description on YouTube so you can copy and paste this so click new and paste this script and save uh, name toggle controller then save and you can see here toggle controller and you can assign any uh, key you like I created one here already and then I use Control A because I'm used to use uh, this key in Motion Builder with the Control A so I just used Control A so whenever you animate it, you can just quick swap this uh, you can quickly toggle this controller you can hide and show easy so, yeah, this is my basic setup before I start to animate. This is a really quick, easy setting, but it does help. In the next video, we can talk about motion capture editing, how I animated this, uh, this attack animation, com attack combo animation from this makeup data. Okay, then move on to next video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the thumbs up button. Thank you.